It is on this soil that many ANC cadres were laid to rest. While many families repatriated the remains of their loved ones, many still come back to clean up the cemetery and to pay homage for the 30 ANC members and 12 Basutu who were brutally murdered by the apartheid regime on this day 34 years ago. <laughs> Yes, as the ANC, we are, we are engaged in, 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 in serious plans to ensure that this history is documented, but also that we, we, we are working on ensuring that we have um, uh, to erect a memorial, a memorial park uh, in this area uh, to ensure that generations that come they know who, who was laid to rest here and why was this person laid to rest here, what happened. No one will forget about their history, no one would forget about their heroism, and no one will forget the contribution that they, they, they made uh, for, for our struggle. As young people, we are, ve we are very great grateful that's why you see us coming in here today. We've accepted the, the invitation of the ANC Youth League, BNP. We came in, we're going to work together so that we learn more about the legacy that our older people have left for us. For the first time in 2019, uh, December, just yesterday, as the African National Congress Youth League and Basutu National Party Youth League, we took a decision that we should have a bilateral meeting where we're going to come up with a program uh, that is going to take us from where we are to future generations. Because we need to share the history uh, with uh, Basoto National Party Youth League. Basoto National Party Deputy Leader Machisesa Mfobmobi welcomed his counterparts, ushering them into many of the activities that will unfold throughout the day. <laughs> Viva ANC, viva! Viva! Papelang Khatebe, SABC News, Masagolo Sud.